I'm here in LT Spice again. Uh, this is a bit ho-hum for the experienced, but it might be useful for beginners. Uh, sometimes uh, when you're dealing with microcontrollers and you've found that you really need an external watchdog circuit, which isn't uh, so common these days, uh, but if you do, um, here's something that you might want to consider. So try to imagine this junction here is the input to the reset pin of the microcontroller and that this 5 volt supply here is supplying that 5 volts to this auto reset circuit for the input to the MCU and that the 5 volts is also powering the MCU. Uh, at t equals 0, just as the power has been turned on, uh, there's no potential across this capacitor. So at this point here we see the voltage as 0 uh, and quite quickly this uh, capacitor here will charge up through R3 and uh, C2, the potential here will go from 0 to 5 volts quite quickly. and uh, depending on the values uh, that we have set here um, you'd set those values to satisfy the, the reset input uh, signal requirements for the particular MCU. So if you have an MCU that you think requires a, an external hardware watchdog um, you would have some routines inside your MCU that uh, will periodically uh, reset a watchdog timer which is what this is supposed to be simulating and if the, um, but I don't have that uh, resetting input in for the microcontroller, you'll have to imagine that. Uh, just what I'm simulating here is if the microcontroller has for some reason stuffed up um, its routines or something's happened with the MCU and it's not resetting uh, the uh, watchdog timer back to zero and if the watchdog timer expires uh, beyond uh, the time threshold uh, such that it's going to create a pulse output uh, that will go through this transistor and pull the, uh, pull the reset line uh, low to reset the MCU. Uh, but depending on what this hardware is here, you might find that um, the chips that you're using, it's going to create a long pulse output, which isn't really what you want. So that's kind of what I'm simulating, simulating here. From 0 to 5 volts, I'm going to have, have a 5 second delay, and then I'm going to uh, pulse high for 5 seconds, and then come back down to 0 volts and uh, that's going to go through this transistor here. So if, if I run the simulation we can have a look at some of this. just going to have a look at that auto on circuit here, ignore this for the moment, we'll just have a look over here on the side. And so this is that auto on uh, RC curve from 0 to 5 volts and that's going it should uh, in most circumstances satisfy uh, the reset timing, uh, reset pin input timing for a microcontroller. And then back here we've got this pulse coming out of our watchdog timer and it's uh, expired and it's done this five second pulse. It's gone high, that's come into the base of the transistor and then at the reset pin that's come low for five seconds and then gone back high. Um, and that's not really desirable to have the MCU in uh, reset for five seconds because the MCU can't do anything for that amount of time. And uh, maybe depending on the hardware here, uh, maybe it'll ne never come back. Maybe it'll be two minutes, three minutes, five minutes later that it'll come back high. So you don't really want that. What you want to do is, um, regardless of what the output of your timer is going to be doing, you want to create a transient uh, input pulse. So we're going to begin by, it looks like I've accidentally pushed that to add it, a capacitor. I start with a capacitor and I'm going to set that to 10 nanofarads and um, we're effectively creating a, a high um, high pass filter. Okay, so if I rerun this now you see that uh, here we've got that five second pulse which is now on this side being turned into a very very brief transient pulse because that capacitor is charged up quite quickly and the potential across it is built uh, very quickly and um, then of course that gets into the base of the transistor and then here at the reset pin just come back out again. Uh, you can see at the five second mark we've got the MCU reset pin being pulsed down to zero volts uh, very briefly. So that's what you want to reset uh, the MCU and then you know somewhere around uh, this mark 
the uh, MCU can start resetting the watchdog timer again. Uh, one more thing that we should look at is this uh, negative going pulse uh, to get rid of that if you feel you need to. We can do as I did in a uh, recent previous video and just add in a shot key diode. That might be a bit of overkill, uh, but uh, that's going to work for this example. Let's put in a uh, little shot key diode uh, that can clamp that voltage. And if I run the simulation again, you'll see that that's gone down to almost nothing. And that doesn't really make a big difference to the output here, but there you go. That is uh, something that you can have a think about if you're creating this sort of uh, circuit for microcontroller. Thanks for watching.